Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to solve rational equations. We did this a little bit during the first week. Now we're going to do it again more seriously. Rational equations, you recall, have fractions in them. Rational comes from the word ratio, which means fraction. Ratio is Latin. So rational equations contain fractions. And we all love fractions, right? We're going to do an easy one and then a more difficult one. Don't forget your S. Takes so long to write. Okay, this is the problem we're going to do first. This is from your homework. Notice how I always pull out the fraction bar to make sure it completely covers the denominator. All right, this is what we do. We're going to look at all the denominators and dissect them, if you will. The denominators are the numbers and letters on the bottom. So we have a 3, we have a 25z, we have a 25, and we have a 15z. Let's take them apart. 25z equals 5 times 5 times z. 25 equals 5 times 5. And 15 equals 5 times 3 times z. Notice that all the denominators are composed of the numbers 3, 5, and the letter z. something to remember. Saying stuff takes less time than writing it. Notice all denominators are composed of fives, threes, and z's. We need a number, a lowest common denominator, that will cancel out a three, two fives, and a z. And it's got to be one number. And what we're going to do with that number is multiply both sides of the equation by a number that will cancel out all the denominators. Oops, cancel. That should be an, an L on the end. One, three and two fives, because there are two fives there together that will have to be canceled. So that number, we also call it the LCD, three times five times five, 
times z. We're going to multiply each term in the equation by that number, 75z. I multiplied the left, the left side by 75z. Now I'm going to multiply the right side by 75z. Then I'm going to distribute. Notice that since I'm dealing with fractions, I wrote 75z as a fraction by putting it over 1. Okay, draw a line there. Kind of separate the writing from the math. Now, I'm going to cross cancel. 3 goes into 75 25 times. 25 goes into 75 3 times. And the z's cancel. 25 goes into 75 3 times and 15 goes into 75 five times, and the z's cancel. Leaving me with 25z minus 3 times 4, which is 12, equals 3 times z times 8, which is 24z, minus 5. Now all I have to do is solve this little equation. Okay, 25z minus 24z is 1z. Bring down the minus 12. The 24z is 0 out and I'm left with a negative 5. Add 12 to both sides. And I'll have 1z, which is 1 times z, which is z equals 7. Now check your answer. Does that answer make any of the de original de denominators equal 0? No, it doesn't. So this is your answer and there's no problem. Let's move on. Now we're going to solve this rational equation. And this is a college algebra level rational equation. 1 over 5x plus 5 minus 4 over x squared minus 1. Having trouble with the, uh, the lines. Equals 7 over x minus 1. Again, we're going to dissect the denominators. We're going to completely factor them. Here, x squared minus 1 factors by the difference of two squares. x plus 1 times x minus 1. It 
equals 7 over x minus 1. x minus 1 won't factor. Now we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, so we have to figure out what it is. We have to be able to cancel out a 5, an x plus 1, and an x minus 1. So I'll multiply every term by 5 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Very good. Should have done that over here. Okay, now we get to do my favorite thing, which is cancel. The 5's cancel. The x plus 1's cancel. They're in the first term. In the second term, the x plus 1's cancel. And the x minus 1's cancel. And in the third term, the x minus 1's cancel. This leaves me with x minus 1, minus 20, equals 5 times x minus 1. Rather, 5 times 7 times x plus 1, which is 35 times x plus 1. So I'll have x minus 21 equals 35x plus 35. I'll gather my variable terms together on the right side of the equation. Leaving me with a negative 21 on the left, 34x on the right. Oh no, that's 34. And so our answer is going to be negative 56 over 34. And we're going to have to reduce that. Hmm. Well, no, that's not right. Let's see. We're going to have 2 into 56. What is that? 2 into 56. That's 28. And 2 into 34. It's 1. Aha. So our answer, our true answer, is going to be negative 28 over 17. There we go. That's the true answer. You always have to reduce your equations, but somewhere along the line you have to figure out that 35x minus 1x 
is going to be 34x. Is that a surprise or what? Okay, now 